Hello, everybody! What's up? It's me, Chris Cutie, here. And, um, well, before I introduce who I have next to me, we are doing, well, I guess you could say by the title and that time of year, we are doing the, I believe it's the sixth, or is it the fifth or the sixth? I don't remember. It's the fifth or the sixth annual Christmas unboxing. And with me, we have. Uh, squadron Gadget, like usual. Yep, Squadron Gadget. I mean, yeah, it hasn't been in my videos for a while since Web of Shadows, but he's just never over here. Alright, good <laughs> Anyway. Senior, senior in high school, of course. Oh, shut up. Um, so, first off, I'll, I'll, I will show off the gift that my grandma actually made for myself, him, and um, Kyle, a.k.a. Crazy, or no, not Crazy, uh, Navy Blue Gamer, Vlogger, or Musician, whichever you prefer. But she made us all hats, and that is actually a nicer color on camera than it is in real life. But uh, it's like um, it's like a baby blue kind of. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a really light jean blue. So, but uh, it's it actually yeah, that's the normal. That's what color it actually looks like. But um, it's really nice. It's very comfy. She made one for him as well. It is gray, fully gray, and for Kyle, she made it gray with a blue trim. So like this part's blue. Oh, man, I wish it were that color in real life. But this part's blue. That part's gray. All right. So yep, that's uh, one thing. And. Uh, we'll get to this one. This is a jacket sweatshirt kind of thing with, that you can zip up and it becomes like a turtleneck. It was sent from my relatives in Texas, and man, is it comfy. I think it's... Are you need a jacket of Florida when the weather's like 70, 80 degrees in Christmas time? Yeah, I know. It's a, Florida forgot how to winter, but Texas did not forget how to winter, and that means that this one, even though it's very hot here, it's going to help me immensely in Texas. It's made with, like, Arctic wool, I think. When are you guys going to Texas? Uh, tomorrow. Jeez. <laughs> I know. Here's a shirt that my grandma got for me that was absolutely hilarious, and I love it to death. You'll see it in the video squadron, but um, it says uh, it's a pic it's a picture of a scrambled Rubik's cube, and it says if you've got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check it out while my DJ is uh, solve it. I I uh, I'm actually wearing a shirt that I got as well. It's a Green Lantern shirt. Hey everyone, but it's a Green Lantern shirt, um, and it goes with my Flash shirt. This one was really funny, and it took me a second to actually get it. Okay, it's it, okay, uh, Squadron. What? You know the symbol for iron on the periodic table? Yeah, F E. F E man. Ah. Ah, you get it? You get it? Uh -huh, uh -huh. It took me a second to get, and its colors are orange and yellow, or I mean red and yellow. I can't. I'm colorblind. I'm not. But um, I'm really not, guys. But uh, man, that that it took me a second to. I had to think about that for a second. I'm like, fe man. Oh, so I'm like, to tell you Merry Christmas, by the way. What? I forgot to tell you Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too. I forgot as well. But uh, anyway, so that was really awesome. Here's a book that I th that is kind of a prank gift, but you know what? I don't know. It might come in use. It's a it's a history book with about Thomas Jefferson and the Tripoli pirates. Is this big guy give that to you? Um, no, actually. Huh. I know, surprising. Here's or oh, okay, oh geez, okay. Uh, here's something that I'm going to put on my nightstand, and I might get a little heat for it, but you know what? Screw you. It says. Uh I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. I'm probably going to put that on my red table if you guys have seen it in any of my videos. But that was very nice. And I like the pattern it's got up here. Uh, here we have a Doctor Who book, The Salvation of Doctor Who, a small group study connecting Christ and culture. It connects Doctor Who with religion. Scientology? It, no, no, not Scientology. Actual, you know, like Christian religion. Oh. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and here we have, I don't know, well, here we have something that I think no one's going to be surprised about. It's the 10th Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. It's called Old School. It's number 10. I don't know if I ever got number 9. 
I'd have to look back in previous, I'd have to look back in like last year's video, but I don't know if I got number nine. I know I have number eight, but I don't know if I have number nine. Nine? Nine? Oh, shut up. Um, nice. but I'm going to be reading that later. I know that for a fact. Are reading? Oh, shut up. Uh, here we have a composition book that I know for a fact I'm never going to use, and it has Hogwarts on it. That's pretty cool, though. It, it is. It's cool, yeah. Hey, I thought you were a, um, a, what is it, Lord of the Rings fan. Hey, Robert, I'm both. I'm more of a Lord of the Rings fan, though. True. I've never seen the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Well, either any don't like Lion King, either, so... That is true, I don't like Lion King. I know I'm going to get a ton of hate comments now. Uh, and here, here we have a... Coming from me. Shut up. <laughs> hey, must fight urge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that comment from years ago. There was a... Okay, if you guys don't get the reference, I don't think it's even on my videos anymore, but there a long time ago, yeah. in one of my older videos, there was a oh, comment... the new Star Wars movie come out, you'd be like, oh, look, it's a red lightsaber. Oh, wait, that's the like oh yeah, that that old comment. Come up with something original. But um, but there there was a comment that said, hey, "I'll be right back." I'll be back. I'll be, I'll be back. Uh, Sorry, you can do this. I'll be yeah. back. But uh, there was a, a comment that said, "Must fight urge to f word a garbage disposal." I'm just like, I thought that was like so stupid back then, and I just still think it's really stupid now, and I laugh at it. But I have mustaches for some reason. I I don't know why. I really and truly don't know why. But I apologize for the jump cut here. I j uh, actually, no. I can do one more before I do a jump cut because the next one I want him to see. The next the gifts I want him to see. I have a Turvis tumbler here, large size for hot and cold drinks, uh, and a $2 bill in there. I'm not going to be using that, but um, I'll, be, I'll be using the Turvis, and I, I, need, I just need to figure out how to drink from this thing. I always end up like spilling it over me whenever I drink from it. But you know what? It's cool, and it's Eagle because I'm going for my Eagle Scout, uh, and yeah, it's awesome. But I apologize for the jump cut here. I will be back with you guys in a quick second where I uh, talk about the quantity of gifts that I got. And if you've been paying attention to the video, you'll know what they're roughly based on. And I want him here to see that. All right? See you guys later. Or see, not see you guys later. See you guys in a second. And we are back, guys. And he is back with me. And, uh, well, we're going to get to the next part of the video, the second half of the video, and the one that is going to take up the most time. We have a bag from Save-A-Lot. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's see. If you look in there, I'll just give you a quick glance of everything that's in there. Yeah. Okay. How'd you know? I'm good at guessing. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Well, first thing we pull out here, the first thing I pull... Shut up. Don't even say it. Oh, never mind. But the first thing we pull out here is a mini 3x3, three three, uh, and it's a Spider-Man Super Cube. I have one of these similar, I have a similar one of these, It's um, but it's Christmas themed, and to be honest, I'm not going to be messing around with this too much. What? Okay. Uh, but I'm not going to be messing around with this too much, because of the fact that it's garbage. But, you know, it's fun. It's a fun novelty item. I'll open it up here, um, if I can, that is. I really should have got a knife. Are you there? Okay, he says he'll be back. Okay, I'm not going to pause the video. He said not to pause the video, but okay. I wish I had better quality or better capabilities of recording, but I don't have a... I have a tripod, but I mean, a phone with a tripod. That doesn't seem to work too well. Oh, uh, jeez. Eh? I guess that's what you get when you watch my videos. Look at my awesome Greenland shirt. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so it's it's a uh, I think it's actually based off of the new Ultimate Spider-Man TV show that was on Di that's on Disney. I don't know if it ended or not. It might have. I don't know. But you know what? That's a cool novelty item. All right. And what's next? Uh, not that one. Let's go with. Oh, I guess I could do this one. 
Yep, here we go. It's a stre uh, not really a stress ball, but it's like a squeeze ball. And it'll help me with my hands, because as you all know, I have muscular dystrophy. Well, you might not know that, but you do now. All right, so that's awesome. And up next, we have, well, I guess I could do this one. We have a puzzle here that is, uh, uh, like, I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is, but let's open it up here and let's find out. All I know is that it's a puzzle. I know what the other ones are, but I don't know what this one is, and I'm finding out what this one is. What is it? Let's see. Uh, if you look all over, it looks like a paint splatter thing. What is that? I honestly have no idea. I don't know what this is. Oh, but the turning is actually pretty good. I didn't expect it from a puzzle like this. But it is a super cube, as you can see, and this one will be very interesting to solve, especially ones like that, ones like that. One, uh, that'll be, that center will be pretty easy. Ones like that, that'll be impossible. But you know what? I think this is pretty cool. So, oh man, a tiny, there's a tiny speck of blue on there. This will be interesting to solve. I don't know if I'll ever mix this one up. I might. But you know what? That's pretty cool. So, two cubes down. What shall I do next? Oh, you're back? Awesome! I just unboxed a puzzle that's a 3x3. Three three. Oh, wait, here we go. I just unboxed a puzzle that's a 3x3, three three, and it looks like it's it's a super 3x3, three three, but it has, like, paint splatters all over it. Did you any keyboards? We'll get to it. But, um, this is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, so... They're having some family dilemmas, but, uh, let's see. 20 pounds of ham. Uh, I guess I'll go with this one next. I guess I'll go with this one next. This here, I have been dying for. It is one of the best 2x2s two two out there, if not the best. Diane 2x2. Two two. Well... Shut up. Especially over that one at the moment. They, they have the new more you 2 by 2 Ken Po. Screw more you. My more you 3 by 3 may be the best 3 by 3 I've ever had after what you did to it. Well, I have a Yushin 3 by 3 now with more you, uh, Maru, Maru CX3 soft springs in it. Ooh. Well, whoop the frickin' do for you. But then I have a Yushin 5 by 5 which is like the best 5 by 5 out there. Well, you're in the higher level, I'm in the smaller level. And, and like, just weird cubes. But here we go. This is the Diane 2x2, two two, and holy crap, out of the box turning is amazing. Okay, now, compared to the Shang Shao one. Okay, oh, compared to the Shang Shao? Oh, okay, I, I'm gonna have to go in my room and get the Shang Shao then. You get to see my mess of a room. Whatever. Oh, by the way, I got a, my friend gave me a void 3x3. Three three. Ew. <laughs> I don't touch that thing. I know how to solve them, because I hate them. Oh, yeah, I know. I know how to solve them. They're just annoying. But here we go. Here's the here's the uh, Shang Shao 3x3. Three three, or Shang Shao 3x3. Three three, the Shang Shao 2x2. Two two, and here's the Diane 2x2. Two two. Obviously, it's not going to be as, uh, as good out of the box, because I've been playing with this for a year. But, man, the turning on this thing is pretty dang good out of the box. And I wish I could show you the corner cutting, but holy crap, the curvature is amazing on this thing. Like, inner corner cutting is going to be a breeze, and man, I'm just really happy to have this puzzle. Hey, uh, oh, it's funny, Robert, I had to do some 3x3, 4x4, and 5x5, and I just got to buy the 2x2. Two two. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, ah! I dropped it. But yeah, the, the curvature on this thing is amazing, and I'm really happy to have this puzzle. Now? Shut up. But yes. Okay, so what's next? Um, I can also go with this one. This is, if you can't tell what that is, um, that is the gear shift. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Yeah, Dad? Okay. He was about to say something interesting, and then Dad happened. Give me a second. I'll be back. I'll, I'll just get there for a Okay. Well, here I have the gear shift. And the tabs are like really hard to get open. Well, let's see what we got here. Um, if you guys know what the gear shift is, it's kind—it's of, a 
obscure 2x2 two two that actually, like, you can split apart into, uh, into, like, you can pull it apart if I can only get it out here. Here we go. Okay, so that is what it looks like. And how you turn it, actually, is by pulling it apart, if I can show you that here. Uh, let's see if I can show that. I'm propping it up against a cup. That is a terrible idea. But that's how you turn it. It's, like, so weird. You turn it on the corners, I think. Um, but, oh, man, that is bumpy out of the box. Oh, man. But, let's see. If I... There we go. You see? Okay, yeah. okay. Like I was trying to say with the gear shift. Isn't that the one where you can pop the corners out and twist it? That is... Well, it's... You pop the sides out. It goes on all three axes. And it... <laughs> that's basically... That's the one where you pop up the corner and you can twist the corner and, like... Yep. That's the one. I'm going to have to figure out how to turn this thing. But, yeah, this will be really interesting to solve. I'll say that much. I wish I would have got the 13 by 13 this year. <laughs> 13 by 13? Really? For no reason at all. For no reason. Just for shock factor? Yeah, for shits and giggles. I would solve it in, I would solve it in um, a bunch of no parents. I'm trying to get this thing back to how it was. Ah, jeez. Phone fell. Anyway, you guys seen how it turns.